Hello, Gunner James 105. So I had done a, a video on the Mark III Canadian combat boots. And uh, I need to do one more because, first of all, you'll notice there's quite a difference in these two boots. And uh, this is the reason why, is uh, in my previous video, I showed you what I was issued. And this is the exact can I was issued. And it's, it's quite full yet. The silicone compound so the water repellent um looks like water i don't even remember what it smells like but i'll find out tomorrow because i'll be applying that uh to this pair of boots but this is what i got in the mail i was quite surprised to uh, find it and i think i i know it was less than ten dollars or i'm pretty sure uh it came along with some other items that uh uh helped you know with the with the shipping so i combined a few things so this is what i was missing and this is what i was i was never uh issued this type of stuff um so in, and it actually this here is showing a date in 93 so i don't know when if they ever had this uh around even when i was in but uh so what i've done then is followed the direction so far um, one of the things that I did when I brought these boots home, a friend of mine offered them up for sale, so I, uh, I grabbed them, uh, basically, uh, you know, cheap as dirt. So the first thing I had to do, because they were covered in, uh, a lot of dust, they didn't have shoelaces, and so, uh, just on my lunch break from work, I had them under the sink with a scrub brush, and I washed them all off real good, so that by the time I got home, they'd be all, uh, uh, nice and dry and I took the insoles out and scrubbed the heck out of those and had those hanging on the line to dry so they're all nice and clean and uh, vacuum vacuumed out the inside of the boots so just before making this video I removed this lace now this I I found these laces because the boots didn't have any uh, found these laces at uh, my local grocery store and they're uh, nine eyelet plus or nine plus eyelets so that worked good. And then, uh, it, you know, basically a six foot lace. And you need every bit of it for this boot. It's hard to believe that uh, six feet is uh, just enough. So the boot, this is kind of your, your before. And so you can see um, just, you know, they're kind of beat up a little bit. And there's uh, a lot of wear. Like, I mean, right here, we're missing... Um, anything black and uh, so there's a lot of of uh of this black scuffed off and so that's that's the before and that's what the other boot looked like and so it's it's been uh knocked about a bit there's uh kind of a few nicks and and rough spots in there so this here has the uh little kind of a little dauber on it so, yeah, clean the boots, um, and then shake well. So I did that, and then it says to uh, remove the dirt, did that, and apply a thin coat and allow to dry 12 hours. And this is to be uh, put, you know, dealt with uh, prior to the silicone coating. So you want to get this done first. So we're going in the right, uh, following the right steps. So this is a fair long stick to get right down to the bottom. Uh, you got to be careful. So all of a sudden that comes splashing out of there but there's your little soft dauber that you can apply this with and i may have you know this initial uh, dip was enough to do about half the boot and i dipped it one more time and that finished it because it gets uh it absorbs it quite quite a bit of it and you, you can do the boot in in two dabs of that so this is the the result now this has to set for about 12 hours some might say, well, geez, you know, for a combat boot, that's pretty shiny. This is what your boot basically looks like when you get it brand new. So it's 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 a short matter of time if you're wearing them that they'll uh, dull down a bit. But you can see as far as the, the toe and, and the, you know, because this, this, they both looked the same. So uh, without that shine on there, you can see that it's, it looks a lot better. So this is pretty much brought to 
the condition they would have been when they were new. And so, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a, that view. I'll go and finish off this boot, and then tomorrow I will, uh, it's the same thing. You don't use much of this. It, it goes on real fast and easy. So that's the uh, silicone waterproofing. So do that, and uh, these boots will be ready to go with this new uh, M3880A1 vehicle, the quarter-ton truck or Jeep. Um, my son-in-law and I have got complete uniforms now, and uh, he's just got to pick up a set of combat boots for himself. I had a pair, but somehow my feet got a lot bigger since I was in. So now I've got a, a pair that fits me. So uh, we joined this military vehicle club, and, and we'll, we'll dress the part when uh, the time comes. And... So, just a little bit of uh, Canadian military stuff that, that uh, very necessary, I guess. At least this is necessary, but uh, this will smarten your boots right up. Make them look like new again. Thanks for watching.